Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video on the How to Make an Akashic System series. Uh, this is going to be the last part of this series because I've pretty much covered everything and in this video I'm going to be covering pet deleting. Before this video starts, if you guys want to support me and want to have access to all of my project files, including the one you're watching right now, they will all be available in my Patreon in the $10 tier. With that being said, let's start. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is go to start GUI, main, pets frame, and make that visible. And then, uh, just go here, and info, equip, duplicate that, and rename this to delete. And change the background color to a nice red. And then I'm going to change the text to say delete. Now you can drag this down and drag the equip button up. And I'm just going to put this right here just so that it looks a bit better. And what I'm going to do next is uh, make sure that this pet frame is invisible. And I'm going to enter my pet inventory script and I'm going to create a reference to the delete button you just created. So local um, delete is equal to and info info dot delete. Now we can go all the way down here and we can set up an event. So delete dot mouse button one click con connect function and delete pet. Now we don't have this function yet, so we're gonna go ahead and create it. So just go right here and I'm going to do a local function and I'm going to call it delete path and it's not going to take any arguments and I'm just going to um, fire a remote event. But first things first, we're gonna have to check if the if uh, the selected template is not equal to nil, then we can fire a remote event. And to do that, it's very simple. Just go to Akachi Remote, duplicate your unequivocal uh, event, fire um, remote event, and just rename it to delete pet. And now you can do uh, replicated storage, replicated storage dot Akachi Remote dot delete pet on fire uh, server and you can just send the selected template dot name and then you can go to your main server script and just scroll all the way down and here we're gonna create we're gonna create an event so game dot replicated storage dot egg hatching remotes dot delete pet dot on server event colon connect function and that will take the player and the pet name and then what we can do is check if the player actually owns the pet so if player dot pets colon find first child pet name then so if we find the pet name what we can do is then delete the pet. So player dot pets colon find first child first child and pet name colon destroy. And if we go back to our hatch client event, uh, I mean our pet inventory script, we can just go here and we will destroy the selected template. So select the template colon destroy. And then we can set the selected template to nil. And now if you play the game, that should work. So if I just go to my pets, oh, that's a lot of pets. Okay, so if you go to your pets and I'm going to just delete this pet, as you can see, it's uh, deleted, so I'm just going to delete a lot of these. Okay, so what I'm going to do is check if we equip the pet and delete it. As you can see, we can still... Uh, we still have the pet equipped. And to fix that, it's very simple. You just go to your main server script, copy whatever is inside the uh, unequipping... Okay. 
copy whatever is inside this unequip pet event so i'm just going to copy this and go down here and paste it here but what we're gonna have to do is check if the pet is not equal to nil then we can do all of this and that should work so what i'm going to do is just reset my data store so i'm just going to put some random thing here for some key and I'm going to play the game, hatch an egg, and try to delete the pet after equipping it. And if I just go to pets, so like this, equip it, and then del delete it. As you can see, it's unequipped and deleted. But as you can see, what we need to do is uh, uh, reset whatever is inside this so we're gonna wanna change this to a blank page so that it only says times the zero coins and the name will be nothing and the text of the unequip button will be equip so go to your hatch to your uh, pet inventory script and go up here and copy these so Inside of your own template press function, just copy from pet name display info to this. Just copy that and paste it here. And then we will just change this to nothing. So nothing. And I'm just going to change this to times zero. And I think that's going to work. So if I play the game, go here and just press R and buy your triple hatch game pass and press R. That's going to hatch the egg. And if we just check our inventory, we, sh we should be able to delete the pass and the info page will be blank so if i just equip this and delete it as you can see now it says nothing and times zero but as you can see this still says unequip and that is very simple to fix you just have to go here and change the equip button dot text dot text is equal to equip or equip and now if i play the game and delete a pet I equip this and delete it. Now it says nothing times zero and equip. And if I equip this, as you can see, it works. And yeah, that's pretty much it for today's tutorial. If this helped, please subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.